gonna throw out some sweet feed today. This stuff is really light. You wanna try and throw it out against the wind, forget about it. It's gonna come right back in your face. You gotta throw it with the wind. Yeah, I'm gonna change out my hooks today before I start fishing. I don't know how many times this one's been used or how old it is, but sometimes I look by the the condition of the of the line can kind of tell me how old it is. But age doesn't necessarily mean anything either. You know, I might have nicked something, but bottom line is, if I can do that and it doesn't stab my finger, it's not sharp enough. It's sharp. Don't get me wrong. It can. It can pull skin, but if I can just tap my finger on it and, my, and I don't get stuck, I'm going to replace it. I think that doled up hooks are probably the main uh, culprit. If you get hook, hook pulls, if you get a bite, but they don't hook up very good, I, I, that's my theory. I think, I think that your hook is not sharp enough, it's not getting a good purchase. I'm sure there's a lot of reasons, but sharp hook is a must and I don't sharpen I don't resharpen hooks I just put a new one on there's a new one brand new one ouch 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 yes and I don't think you can really see any difference I can see maybe a tiny difference with my naked eye but this is the old one this is the new one and I keep all my hair rigs you know, I, I tie these ahead of time. Swivel, short leader. Here's my hair eggs. I just keep them wrapped up on this uh, little, uh, it's a tackle buddy, I think is what this device is. It's it's a piece of one, actually. I, I kind of cut it so it fit in my tackle box the way I want it to, but I can keep a lot of them on here, uh, ready, just ready to go whenever. All right, one is done, two more to go. Yeah, see that should that should be stabbing into my finger, hurting me right now. If I'm doing, I mean, it's sharp. Don't get me wrong; it's not dull or anything. But there's a brand new one. Ow! 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 Exactly. And I don't change out my hooks like every time I fish or every time I catch a fish. Even I just check them periodically, and if they're not sticky sharp. To the point where, you know, if I just tap my finger on it, if I don't get stuck, this means it's not sharp enough. I change it out. And that's one advantage of using these uh, less expensive Eagle Claw octopus hooks compared to the, you know, the Kamikatsu or whatever. You know, I can, I can just toss out hooks and replace them and not feel bad about it. You know, five bucks for like 57 of them. You know? And if you only fish like, you know, once a month or something like that you don't fish that often you don't go through a ton of hooks then you know it's not a big deal to, to get the more expensive stuff but fish a lot like I do and go through a lot of hooks that's what I like to do anyway fishing with my short rods today six and a half foot ugly stick GX2 that's a medium heavy action and uh, Daiwa BRI reel if I uh, hook into a new personal best tonight, it's going to be a fun fight. Today's hook bait is spicy sriracha tiger nuts. These tiger nuts last a long, long time if you keep them in the fridge when you're not using them. I think I've probably had these, I don't know, I think we're going on a couple of months now. Just keep them in the fridge when you're not using them. Now, I'm sure it probably helps that this hot pepper sauce that they're soaking in is very acidic so uh, they're not getting moldy or anything. Pack bait I'm using today is uh, out of the fridge. It's probably about a week old. I don't really know exactly what's in it. Oats and corn. I think it's just corny oats. Seriously it's been in the fridge a week. It's perfectly fine. You don't need to have fresh fresh bait. 
I'll use up this week old bait and uh, make some new bait here in a little bit once this uh, once I start used up most of this bait here. That's it. Triple stack, tiger nut spicy, brand new, sharp as sharp can be hook, week old bait, one ounce sinker, bead, bobber stop, 20 pound monofilament line. And I'm fishing real close to the bank here tonight. That's where I threw my sweet feed too. And by real close, I mean, I'm gonna be about 25 feet off the bank here. One over here, one over here, another one over here, but kind of fanned out, but real close to the bank, right here where I'm sitting. So it's about 4.30 p.m. And uh, nothing fancy tonight, just what I showed you, just my, my usual tried and true confidence baits and rigs. And uh, yeah, like I said, 4.30, I'm gonna fish here for the uh, late afternoon into the evening bite and to see how it goes. They usually kind of turn on, or at least lately, the fish have been kind of turning on around 6 or 7 p.m. So I'm a little early, that's fine with me. Thanks for watching. All right, it's time to make some more bait. Right here I've got uh, 21 ounces of old fashioned oats and a couple of handfuls of sweet feed pellets. I'm going to take what's left of my old bait here and dump it in there. And use this for my trash bag. And today I'm gonna do some uh, sweet potato yams, sweet potatoes in syrup. There's the sweet potatoes in syrup. I'm gonna dump all that in there. And to really add some flavor, I'm gonna add some of this uh, brown sugar bourbon seasoning. It's just kitchen seasoning. Seasoning that we tried in, at home and didn't really like it, so I thought I'd use it for carp fishing. I'm going to put a lot in there. And that's it. Mix it up real good. I'm going to mash up the sweet potatoes a little bit before I start mixing it all. Alright, take a look. There it is. I'm going to let that sit for about 10-15 minutes to let the oats absorb some more of that stuff because while it will pack together right now already, it uh, also breaks apart real easy. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and be ready to go. something big and I don't think it knows it's hooked it's down to my left right along the bank there uh, there's a little fight it's not uh, pulling real hard right now It's just kind of figuring out something's weird here. It's about 7.30. Eh, he's just kind of going where he wants. Back, back toward the bank. He went, kind of went out into the open water for a little bit and, uh, Kind of retreated back over to right next to the bank again. He's coming in. He's real close. He's real close right next to the bank on my left right here. I don't really know what I've got here. It's common carp. I, th I think it might be a grass carp. It hasn't, it doesn't have gone on any like real hard runs like common carp tend to do. 
and I've actually seen giant grass carp tail come up a couple of times I still haven't caught a glimpse of this fish right in front of me staying down stupid motorcycles nobody cares about your stupid motorcycles I just saw I thought it looked like huge catfish for a second there It is. It's a massive catfish. Holy crap. That is unexpected. I didn't know that there were, I didn't think that there were cat, big catfish in this lake. It's a big, big fish. That's probably a 10 pound catfish. Get in here. Got him. I'm gonna guess nine pounds. Right around 10 with the net, so it probably is about nine. Spicy tiger nut. Right in the corner of the mouth there. All right, first fish of the evening. Not the target species, but a really big channel cat for this little bitty lake. Came in right around nine pounds. Not much of a belly on him. Probably isn't eating that great. Good looking cat though. Getting back in the water. No net cam on this guy. I guess I forgot to put it on there today. There he goes. See ya. Thanks for the fight. Big catfish. Cool. That seems like it's probably a carp. I just let that catfish go and I haven't, uh, I haven't got the other line put back out yet. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a, a carp. Running like that, heck yeah. Getting excited here, don't want to horse on him too much here. Take my time. Oh, he's way out there. He ran a long ways. I just saw him hit the surface out there in the middle. And I gotta bring him over this way, otherwise he's gonna he is gonna get some place where I'm not gonna be able to get get him in. Man. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Okay, nice one towards me. He's just uh, he's just cruising in now here. I'm sure that's not gonna last. Oh, it's heavy. I mean, it's a heavy fish. Stand up so you can get a glimpse of him, maybe. He's just, you know, 15, 20 feet out right in front of me right now. Yep, 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 yep. I think there's two fish. I think there's another fish following him. Just saw two. Yeah, there are. There's two. There's another fish following this fish. Crazy. Yeah, it's a big common carp. He's not ready to be done yet. God, this always makes me so nervous right here. When they're this close like this. Get in the net. Yes. He's in the net. And that's a pretty big fish. I was just messing with that camera. I don't, I don't even know if it's pointed in the right direction. Kind of looks like it is. It's only 17. Okay. All right. First carp of the night. Second fish of the night. Came in right at 17. It was a hard fighting fish. 
It's exactly what I came here for tonight. I hope he's got a grandpa or a grandma or a big brother or sister around. I think I saw a second fish. When, when I was fighting this fish, there were swirls going on uh, around the area where this fish was too. So I think there was, there was more than one fish. I think this guy was had a follower uh, as I was bringing him in. But great fish, 17. Let's get him back. There he goes. See you next time. Well, I'm glad I changed out my hooks when I got here. Uh, two bites and both fish hooked up real well. No hook pulls. Uh, so if you're having hook pulls, you know, there might be something to look at. Check your hooks. Might make all the difference. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.